We're standing in front of the 1908 Sawyer Home Carriage House. It was built at the same time as the Sawyer Home, and it's used as a workshop, collection storage, and kind of a miscellaneous building. Historically, it's just part of the entire Sawyer estate. And this fall, we had a new roof put on it. But when we were doing the roof, we were missing key ridge caps. Now that's really important on a slate roof. And even though we put artificial slate on there, it still needs the ridge caps. So if you can imagine, these are, these are rigid slates. So when you bring them to the peak of the, of the roof, there's a little gap that remains because it's not like asphalt shingles, which can be just bent over the little opening. So it needs a, a ridge cap and we were missing some terracotta or clay ridge caps. So when we looked to see what it would cost to replace those, it was astronomical. It was like $8,000 for the missing ridge caps because they had to be cast. They're not something that's a standard piece. You can just go anywhere. They're each unique to a historic structure. That was too much money for us to spend, but there was an alternative and that's 3D printing. And most of the time when people think of 3D printers, they think of something small or uh, something that's not practical. But this ridge cap is a very practical application of 3D printing and it enabled us to do new ridge caps at about 40% of the cost of what we would have to spend if we did terracotta ridge caps. So for us, it was a really awesome way to complete the roof project and do it at a cost savings and match the historic significance and exterior detail that, of the carriage house. Once it's painted, once it's up there, people won't be able to tell and those 3D printed ridge caps will actually outlast the terracotta ridge caps. They're, they're sturdy, they're unbreakable, they'll last a super long time. So it's a really wonderful way for us to this project. Hi, my name is Matt Drinke. I work at the Oshkosh Public Museum as maintenance and we just repaired our roof and we needed three of our caps made and I made the suggestion of why don't we 3D print it? So this is what we have. A nice uh, 3D printed uh, made out of plastic. Um, it's guaranteed to last a long time. So what I'm going to do now is just sand these up a little bit to get rid of the lines. As you can see, the line just kind of disappear. It takes a little bit of work, but after I get that done, then if I got real, you know, bigger, bigger gaps, then I just fill it with a little, like, auto bondo, and then I can sand it down. This is kind of what the finished product would kind of look like here, kind of a little bondo in there, like so, and this here is just an acrylic paint. It, it can withstand the heat that we can get up on the roof, so. And this is what it'll um, kind of look like when it's painted. I'm sure it'll be two or three coats. Kind of brush it on and it, it looks like our regular clay tiles in. So it's pretty exciting that we can use you know modern technology to make something at a less at a less rate. So that's what we have. It comes out of the printer in a in kind of a ribbon-like thing like this. So those ridge caps that you saw Matt painting are built up of many, many layers of this of this material that comes out of the spool like this. So uh, to to make that kind of thickness that Matt showed you takes a lot of passes of the 3D printer, but it's a super sturdy material. So it'll way out outlive the rest of that roof.